Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for November 20th through November 26th. This is intended to be a love reading for the sign of Aquarius. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Now, this may not resonate with you because this is not a private reading, okay? This is a general reading, so it may not resonate at all. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video or my Let's Talk episodes that are done live at night. looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm going to leave it alone. All right, so the basis of your reading is the Page of Cups, okay? So that's love. That's birth, rebirth, okay? So many of you are probably going through a period of rebirth, and I really stress that with the death card right next to it. It's a period of renewal for many, many, many of you. It's like you've had some kind of wake-up call, that has catapulted you into some really big positive changes, all right? I feel like perhaps maybe you've forgiven yourself for whatever it was, forgiven yourself for wasting your time, you know, whatever the case may be. I feel like many of you have been through a period of depression, feeling alone, feeling like, how did it come this happened? Why? Why has this happened? You know, a period of despair. But it's over now, okay? It is. It feels like many of you have come to the realization that there's more. There's more to this. I'm going to look at this from a new perspective. I'm. This is good because now I'm free, you know? I'm free to follow my path. I'm free to do things, do something else. It just, it looks really good. Like many of you have decided to take the negative, throw it away, and look at things from a new perspective, okay? And because you're doing that, it feels like you will be getting more, all right? I, I see gifts here, you know? You could be even receiving a gift of money, you know? And if it's not money, it's a gift of security and stability within yourself, okay? Somebody is receiving some gifts, all right? Um, and it is really definitely a time of renewal, rebirth. Something has ended that was stagnant. You know, it was it was over. And you just needed to let it end. And I think many of you have. You've let go of some kind of obsession. Congratulations. Okay? Whatever conflicts that have been going on, I think that you have decided to release them. And the balance is coming back to your life. You've just walked away from the emotional drama. It's like, I, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to be happy. And because of that, you know, there's a, there's new love here. And this could be new love for, for yourself, or it could be new love actually coming for you, okay? Because we do have the Lover's card and the Page of Cups right here and the Ten of Cups. The, the you know, strife in your life regarding a relationship is probably over for many of you that are watching this. It feels like things are changing very quickly, and it's because of you. It's because you have mastered your emotions, and you have uh, taken the lead. You know, you're accepting the truth. You're looking at it from a new positive perspective, and you're moving on. You know, this is positive. It really is. I And for some of you, because you're going through this beautiful renewal, you know, it looks to me like new opportunities are coming in for you. New security, new stability, and perhaps even a new love if you're single because we have the lover's card. 
This tells me that there's an unexpected choice in love. It's where your heart was set on somebody else, but all of a sudden somebody shows up in your life and it changes everything, okay? So I, I think that there's a shift here where be in the past there was some negative in your life, there was some drama, and now you let it go. And you said, you know, goodbye, see ya. Time for me to start over. I realize that. I'm going to start over. And it's going to be beautiful. Because that's what it looks like. You guys are taking a stand. You're honoring yourself. You're taking the direct approach. And you're changing your future. You're doing it. No more crying over spilled milk. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's your awakening. I don't, you know, goodbye. It's over. I'm done. And I'm happy. You've really decided to look at things from a new perspective. And it brings a lot of balance and personal freedom. We have a Scorpio here. We have Pisces. We have Cancer. We have Gemini. We have you. And then we have uh, we have Aquarius, Libra, and uh, Gemini again. Did I say Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? I'm not sure if I did, but I just did. But it feels, I mean, I, did ha I have to tell you that you definitely have somebody that you are connected to on a very deep level, okay? And I think that is in the future. I think that you are about to, and it, you know, if you are coupled and you're with somebody, you're definitely connected to somebody on a soul level, okay? There is like a soul connection here in your reading, Aquarius. Everything happens for a reason. Remember that. Everything happens for a reason. There are no coincidences. I think balance is coming back to your life after conflict. I, think, I see a period of renewal and perhaps a new love. Maybe it's even a new love for yourself. But for many of you, it's a new lover. A new lover. Could be somebody from your past. Could be somebody you knew years ago. And didn't, you didn't, doesn't mean that you dated them. It means that you, somebody from your past could have sparked your interest again. It's time to start a new chapter. Look at this lover's card is here twice. It's time to start a new chapter. You have learned a big lesson. One phase of your life is over. Could have been a marriage. That phase is over. Could have been schooling. That phase is over. Could have been it's something big is over. A big phase in your life is over. Celebrate that success. Celebrate that lesson learned. And move on. And I think that's what you're doing. Okay? For many of you. And if you haven't yet, perhaps you're going to. Okay? Uh, you have to forgive yourself. Okay? Remember to forgive yourself. Following your own path is what is needed, okay? I feel like there's been some suffering. You've been some suffering in your heart. You've been suffering with making a decision, you know? You've been hurt, and you're worried about hurting others. But part of the lesson is following your own path. For many of you, someone from your past is returned or has returned or, or has sparked your interest. And if they haven't, it certainly could happen. Okay? I mean, we have the lover's cards twice. Some of you could already, and I, you know, I'm not, I don't advocate for this, but some of you could already be in a relationship because we have the Three of Cups here, and I, I see this unexpected choice in love t twice. And that could be causing you to suffer because, you know, you don't want to hurt somebody. 
you could be involved in a relationship, all of a sudden somebody has really grabbed at your heartstrings and you can't deny it. And so you have to let somebody else go and that hurts. Anyway, somebody is, is pulling at your heartstrings. That's what I see. And the world card is here to say, you know what? It's time for you to start a new phase. Go for it. It's time to accept the truth. This is an opportunity handed to you from above to accept the truth. It's the raw truth. For many of you, there's a completion of one relationship and that kind of hurts. It's the death of a relationship but it brings in another one. There's destiny here. I'm going to get you one of these angel cards and one of the romance cards and we'll see what happens. Believe it or not, it's time to remove all that no longer serves you. And many of you are doing that. And I think it's a positive new beginning. You know how I love to ooh and ah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yes, I am. <sighs> Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. Somebody's giving you signs from heaven and you, you know, don't ignore them. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. Don't forget it. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. For many of you, you have done it. Many of you are in the process of it. Keep going. I promise you that there is love in the future. Remember, it's not somebody that you expect. They may come in out of the blue. Could be somebody from your past. And you may be confused. Listen to your intuition. Follow your path. Do the right thing for you. Put yourself first. Put yourself first. Put yourself first. Talk to you later, Aquarius.